Okay. So we have done few problems on Laplace equation using the boundary condition. You have seen that we can calculate the potential in the region. Okay. And uh, I am taking a problem which will interest you a lot. In this problem, there is a charge density that is given in the form of A e to the power minus KR over R. Okay. This is the charge density. And uh, they have asked, uh, what is the profile of potential? Okay. Yes, sir. So you can see that uh, you want to calculate potential and the charge density is given and it is a spherical system. A spherical system. So how you will calculate? Tell me. Is it a, is it a, question? a charge density is given. So you can all, all also attempt it using Coulomb's law, right? Because charge density is given, a spherical system is there, but it will become very difficult with Coulomb's law that I give you as a home exercise. You can try, write it. And uh, direct relation of potential with charge density is given by this del square phi is equal to minus rho over epsilon naught and this will be del square phi is equal to minus one upon epsilon naught a e to the power minus k r over r correct You can see only ra radial variation is there. So now we will have to solve this to get the value of phi. Any idea how to do it? Yeah, we, we can do one yes. day r squared del del r r squared del del r phi. Then solve it. So del square phi will be 1 by r square del by del r r square del by del r phi is equal to minus 1 by epsilon naught a e to the power minus k r over r okay so it is just radial variation present. So I am taking the theta and phi derivatives zero. All right. Yes, sir. So what will this become? You can just take this R on that side. What will it become? It will become R square ko mai idhar le rao. It will just become AR into E to the power minus KR. Kisi step pe problem hoga turan batana. This is okay? Yes, sir. Now it is del by del r, r square del phi by del r, right? So I want to calculate phi. So what I will do, I will integrate it once. It will become r square del, del ko mein d bhi lik sakta hon. only one variable is there, d phi by dr, okay? And this side, it will become minus A by epsilon naught. Integral of this first function, integral of second, 
minus derivative of this integral of second. plus c1 is this okay yes sir yes sir and now this r square will become d5 by dr is equal to minus a by epsilon naught e to the power minus kr over kr right and minus e to the power minus kr over k square r square plus c1 by r square please check this and minus i am absorbing minus i will absorb is this okay Yes, sir. Yes. And now phi will become equal to a by epsilon naught integral e to the power minus kr by kr dr plus integral e to the power minus kr by k square r square dr bracket close minus c1 by r plus c2 is this okay yes sir koi doubt ho to pooch lena and finally phi will become a by epsilon naught into please see this this is r square here so if i take 1 by r as a first function its derivative may become 1 by r square right yes sir yes. the derivative of 1 by r so i will take it as 1 by k first function how we do it first function integral of second first function integral of second will be minus kr by k square sir integral will not be there k square r no sir minus minus k square i will write directly okay i don't need to put integral first function integral of second integral of second is minus k r by minus k minus k minus integral of differential of first function which is minus 1 by r square. r square and integral of second which is minus kr by minus k and dr sir uska integral hone ke baad okay ah uh, sir ha main ye laga raha hu integral uv Uh-huh, first function integration of second minus integration of उसके बाद नीचे minus k square differentiation of first function into integration of second this one अच्छा okay okay yes sir and plus integral of e to the power minus k r by k square r square d r Minus C one by R plus C two. Is it okay? Yes. Sir. Now yes, check sir. this. This one is 
if you multiply this one is minus minus plus and then again minus okay sine is minus and it is k square k square r square so this integral will get cancelled by this integral and then phi will become minus a e to the power minus kr over minus a e to the power minus kr over epsilon not k square r and minus c1 by r plus c2 samajh aa raha hai yes sir iska term mita diya maine ek term aur likha hua tha yahan okay yahi yes so this is the potential for this system you can see the beautiful mathematics that we just did and please you can ask any question if you want to ask so this was given and this was asked Is that okay? Sir, किसी को कोई डाउट पूछना है तो पूछ सकते हो दिस मच मैथमेटिक्स इज रिक्वायर्ड सो सी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन अपियर्ड एंड यू हैंडल्ड इट वी हैव हैंडल्ड इट सो वाइजली राइट वी इंटीग्रेटेड इट ट्वाइस to reach phi potential with patience and see the profile of potential this is if we would have made a differential equation this is complementary function part and this is particular integral part right yes sir because this part contains the constants two constants for second order differential equation and this part is without constant that means it is particular integral no doubt that means it is okay yes sir yes sir so can i raise this yes sir yes sir so this question gives you a message that if rho is known as a profile we can put it in poisson equation with little patience and what we will get is the potential so i told you we are dealing with a special some special techniques right and the yes, first sir. technique we could handle was how to use laplace equation and poisson equation poisson equation when you have a charged system and laplace equation when it is a charge free system is that okay yes sir so now let us move to the second technique so we are discussing special techniques and now the the so first one you wrote laplace equation slash poisson equation likha tha yes sir yes sir second technique that we i am going to discuss is classic image problem
classic image problem okay so i put that differential equation in the in the group which i just solved right some of you have seen it so that can be a differential equation problem also ek bar dekhna ye same differential equation hai okay that i put it that i put in the group so that could be a question of differential equation and you can see it can be question of electrostatics also now what is classic image problem before that i will tell you what is uniqueness theorem uniqueness theorem uniqueness theorem is that suppose a region is given like this like we had a region and boundary conditions are given like we had boundary conditions in one of the problems if you remember yes this yeah. is the region yeah. these are the boundary conditions so uniqueness theorem tells that there is a guarantee of unique profile of the potential in this region who gives that guarantee that guarantee is given by poisson equation or laplace equation that if in a certain region the region is defined and the boundary conditions are defined then you will have a unique solution of the potential and that guarantee of existence of unique potential in the region at any point phi x comma y is given by poisson equation or laplace equation samajh aa gayi baat yes sir so if in a certain region the potential are defined at the boundaries then a unique profile of potential exists within the region and the guarantee is provided by laplace equation or poisson equation but i think you have understood it with this figure very very much that these are yes, the sir. boundaries at which the potential is defined and the region is between these boundaries and the region is between the boundaries and there is existence of unique profile of potential inside this region and that guarantee is given by poisson equation or laplace equation the existence of unique potential is guaranteed by uniqueness theorem absolutely clear yes sir भाई आजकल कुछ पूछते नहीं हो आप लोग क्या चक्कर है समझ नहीं आता या क्या बात है यस सर टोटन नो डाउट एट ऑल नो ठीक है सर अब तक नहीं मैं कह रहा था कुछ पूछते नहीं हो क्या बात है
सब समझ आ रहा है ओके सो विद दिस गारंटी वी विल सॉल्व दिस अ फेमस प्रॉब्लम a classic problem of physics a classic problem of electrostatics that is called image problem so let us understand what is the problem why it was such a big deal and then how uniqueness theorem handles it okay classic image problem was like this you have a conducting surface like this this is the conducting surface and there is a charge q located at a distance 0 comma 0 comma d at this point and this conducting surface is grounded that means it is at zero potential okay and the problem was that at a point p that is x comma y comma z this point was in the region above the plane above this conducting plane infinite conducting plane infinite conducting plane infinite conducting plane this is the region please see this very very important region is defined like this this is the region in which there is a point p and we are interested what is the potential at the point p what is the potential at the point p this is the classic problem and you have seen that this point can be 0 comma 0 comma 0 and this is x comma y comma z at this point you want to calculate the potential now please understand the toughness of the problem because this is a conducting plane as soon as this q charge is brought near this immediately there will be appearance of a charge density sigma on this conducting plane right a charge density will appear on this conducting plane and the potential here will be given by the potential due to this charge q and the potential due to the charge density present on the conducting plane so because the charge density on the conducting plane is very very tough to calculate so that's why the profile of the potential becomes very very complicated to calculate at this point p and this problem came appeared in electrostatic and this problem is known as classic image problem so the first step is to understand the system and to understand the gravity of the problem toughness of the problem right yes sir so this is called the classic image problem so because this is tough to problem tough to solve but we have a theorem known as uniqueness theorem which guarantees that if the boundary condition is same and the charge within the boundary is either zero or same so like in this case our region is z greater than zero so that region is containing charge q so if, if you want to exactly calculate potential here you will have to go by poisson equation because there is there is having this region is having a charge it is not a charge free region so if you want to calculate it you will have to use poisson equation and because it is a point charge you will have to use delta function a complicated problem and what will happen to the charge densities that will appear on the conducting plane 
so that makes the problem very very difficult so because uniqueness theorem says that if the boundary conditions and the system is same the charge system is same then there is a guarantee of getting a unique potential so that means if i replicate this system if i replicate the boundary conditions and the charge system so suppose this is a imaginary plane now imaginary plane i mean there is no real plane just we are thinking of a plane and put a charge q here and a charge minus q here so this will give zero potential on this imaginary plane because of this charge configuration and so the boundary condition matches with this problem and there is a presence of q charge in the region z greater than 0 so here also in the region z greater than 0 there is a presence of only q charge so that guarantees the poisson equation and hence the uniqueness theorem so whatever result we calculate here will be actually the result present here so q is having 0 0 d this is having 0 0 minus d and we are having a point p here where we want to calculate the potential x y z so let this distance be r1 and this distance be r2 so if i write the potential at point p it will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 correct yes sir yes sir and r1 will be equal to i mean uh, this distance this distance is xyz what is this r1 distance equal to under root of x square plus y square x square plus y square plus d plus minus z d minus, minus d whole square and x2 is equal to or sorry r2 is equal to under root of x square plus y square plus z plus d whole square so you substitute these two here and that is the potential that was required so because this is following the boundary condition same region in the charge same charge in the region so that's why the result we calculated here is actually the result of this and that guarantee is given by uniqueness theorem so your question was what is the potential here so the answer is the potential here is this and that will be the potential in that system also okay so this is this is how the classic image problem was solved yes okay yes and it anything anybody wants to ask yes sir why did we ground the second plate so it is just like you have been given one question that was tough and you solved another question which was easy and the answer of this question there is some guarantee that it will be the answer of the tough question it is like that so you, if you want to ask anything you can ask anything? otherwise i will have to calculate other things i want to calculate other things tell me hello sir 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 am i audible awaaz clear nahi aa rahi sotan
और कोई और कोई भी और पूछ लो शॉर्टन की आवाज तो नहीं आ रही आप लोग को आ रही हेलो सर एम आई ऑडिबल हाँ हाँ बोलो सर आपने ना जब यूनिकनेस थेरम के कंडीशंस बताए थे मतलब कब वैलिड है तब मेरा इंटरनेट चला गया था प्लीज एक बार बताऊंगी कंडीशन मीन्स इन विच केस यूनिकनेस थेरम विल वर्क ओनली ओनली टू थिंग्स आर देयर वन इज द बाउंड्री कंडीशन एंड अनदर थिंग इज द रीजन शुड बी सेम आई मीन लाइक दिस इज द रीजन जेड ग्रेटर देन जीरो हैविंग अ चार्ज क्यू Here also, this is the reason z greater than zero having a charge q. Okay. So uh, uh, you have not written what I wrote here. You read that the condition I have written in that. Sir, no, it was completely wrong. I have written the reason. So only two things are there. One is boundary condition. it should be same and second is the region like here region is z greater than 0 yani plane ka upar wala hissa containing a charge q please see here z greater than 0 containing a charge q both are same yes sir clear anything else Yes, yeah, sir. Why did we uh, ground the second plate as well? The potential was zero already, no? I I didn't get what you are saying. Ah, uh, the uh, second plate, ah, uh, the right hand side. This one was yeah. The was the ground necessary there also? No, no, no. This is uh, at zero. You see, because of this minus and okay, I I should write equal to okay. Oh, you see. Because of this q and minus q charge, the potential is zero at this surface. Yes, I got it, sir. Anything else, sir? Ah, huh. so minus q charge. Uh, we have put to make this plate potential zero. Zero. So that its boundary condition is satisfied. Ho jaye. ओके सर तभी तो ये वाली प्रॉब्लम का आंसर उसके इक्वल होगा यूनिकनेस थ्योरम से यस yes, सर अगर यहां पे तुमने टू क्यू रख दिया तो इसका पोटेंशियल जीरो नहीं होगा तो इसके रिजल्ट्स उससे मैच नहीं होंगे yes, sir. क्योंकि यूनिकनेस थ्योरम में फर्स्ट थिंग इज boundary condition and what is boundary condition potential is zero at z is equal to zero okay potential is zero at z is equal to zero now second question is is this clear to everyone yes sir so this was question number 1 second question is that because of this q charge i told you that a charge sigma will appear on the surface and that was creating all the trouble so can we now calculate what will be the sigma on this because we know the potential now we know the profile of the potential so now we know potential here right using this yes sir so can i erase this you will remember this now yes sir yes sir so whatever i need here i will use it from here so we know the potential yes v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q 1 upon under root x square plus y square plus z minus d ka whole square minus 1 upon under root x square plus y square plus z plus d ka 
whole square is this okay yes sir this is the potential now as a b part i want sigma if you remember the sigma is given by minus epsilon not del v by del n agar yaad ho to anybody remembers this yes sir it was using this e perpendicular above minus e perpendicular below below was sigma by epsilon not then using the concept of gradient minus grad this minus grad this is equal to this right yes and then grad by taking in the n cap direction this i will write grad of v is equal to minus sigma by epsilon not so this is the grad v and this is minus sigma by epsilon not correct please see the derivation in your copy see the derivation i have done it yaad aa raha hai ya nahi yes sir so yes, here sir. what is the perpendicular direction here z cap z so this will be sigma is equal to minus epsilon not del v by del z and at z is equal to 0 because where you want to calculate the charge density at the surface so this will be zara karna minus epsilon not what is this first one del v by z del z minus d upon so i can take this uh, q common sigma not q by 4 pi epsilon not right and uh, let us differentiate this power minus 1 what it will become 1 by 2 x square plus y square plus z minus d ka whole square to the power it is minus power is minus half right yes sir so minus half minus 1 will be 3 by 2 and into 2 times z minus d and here it will become minus minus plus right 2 times z plus d upon 2 times x square plus y square plus z plus d the whole square to the power 3 by 2 please check this is this correct yes sir sabka aa raha hai yes sir and now you can see the sigma will become minus epsilon not q by 4 pi epsilon not put z is equal to 0 so what it will become 2 and 2 will cancel right yes sir what it will become mm-hmm. 2d by the qd upon 4 pi these two will become same na yes sir yes sir all right the so 2d upon x square plus y square plus d square plus all three right yes 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 so it will just become 2d over x square, x square plus y square. Okay. Yes, sir. And if silen not cancelled, two cancelled, so it will be minus q d upon two pi. 
x square plus y square plus d square to the power three by two. So, कितना अच्छा क्वेश्चन हो सकता है कि अगर चार डेंसिटी पूछ लिया जाए. And please see how obvious it is because it is negative. This charge was positive, na? So obviously, on the conducting plate, what type of charge will appear? Minus charge. charge. Negative charge. Tell me if you agree with this. Yes, sir. Okay. So negative as expected, right? And you can see that because Q charge is here, the closest point is this. Yes or no? Yes, the sir. The closest point to the surface is this. So where will be the maximum charge density? So sigma max, the maximum charge density will be minus Q D upon two pi. d cube so this will be d square so this will be the point where you will have maximum charge density and as you go away from this point the cha the charge density will reduce so this is the point of maximum charge density that is that is also so obvious obvious hai ki nahi hai yes बात समझ आ रही है यस यस सर, सर, एंड इफ यू इंटीग्रेट दिस सिग्मा ओवर सम डी ए राइट इफ यू इंटीग्रेट इट ओवर सम डी ए लाइक यू मूव ऑन द होल सरफेस टू गेट द टोटल वैल्यू ऑफ दिस so you can write this in a simple way on this plane i can write it like this can i raise this this maximum wala yes sir yes sir so if i calculate the total charge q total that will be integral sigma da in whole limit ye to obvious hai and yes, that will be integral Sigma is minus Q D over two pi r square plus d square to the power three by two. This is the value of sigma, and d a is r d r d theta in two d. Yes or no? Yes. Theta will go from zero to two pi, and r will go from zero to infinity and if you do this integral it is so obvious that you will get minus q because if q charge is present here only minus q charge can appear on the whole surface yes or no yes sir so this is also such an obvious answer which you can see how much mathematics is employed on it this element is clear to everybody yes sir if you make this this is r this is dr and if you move like this right this is r d theta if this angle is d theta and this angle is theta dikhai de raha hai yes sir sir so this area i have taken a small area on this surface and then i have integrated it yes sir ye jo ground hai ye ground mein koi charge nahi karega
क्या कह रहे हो सर एक कंडक्टर के साथ जो ग्राउंड है ग्राउंड में कोई चार्ज चार्ज नहीं जाएगा नहीं तो ये चार्ज यहाँ रखा हुआ है ना और ये कंडक्टिंग प्लेन है हाँ. तो चार्ज विल सी ऑलवेज सी दिस चार्ज क्यू ओके हाँ सर बट जो माइनस क्यू चार्ज कंडक्टर में आएगा वो माइनस क्यू चार्ज का है अच्छा जो इस पे पूरे सरफेस पे आएगा वो वो चार्ज सर ग्राउंड ग्राउंड में नहीं जाएगा क्योंकि बट फिर फिर भी क्यू रखा हुआ है ना क्यू इज ऑलरेडी देयर ओके इफ यू रिमूव दैट देन दिस विल बिकम अनचार्ज ओके क्वेश्चन So see, R D R D theta is a small area on this plate. Angle we are going from zero to two theta, and R we are going from zero to infinity to cover the whole plate. What is your question? Okay, sir. And uh, next thing is, इतना clear है भाई? Yes, sir. next thing is that if somebody asks that because of this q charge minus q charge appear on the whole plate i mean the plate is negative so obviously there will be force of attraction between this charge and this conducting plate right force of attraction hoga ya nahi hoga yes sir so that will be simply given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not from image problem माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर ओवर फोर डी स्क्वायर ओके यस और नो यस सर सो वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड फोर्स ऑन दिस अगेन इन आवर रीजन राइट सो दिस विल बी अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स दिस फोर्स दैट इज सिटिंग हेयर इन द इमेज प्रॉब्लम दैट आई मेड तो दोनों के बीच की दूरी कितनी थी 2d, डी so, सो का स्क्वायर कितना हो गया 4d स्क्वायर फोर डी स्क्वायर एंड डी इज एनर्जी नाउ एनर्जी विल हैव अ प्रॉब्लम इफ यू डायरेक्टली राइट द फॉर्मूला फॉर एनर्जी इट विल बी वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन नॉट माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर बाई टू डी राइट क्या होता है वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन नॉट क्यू एन क्यू टू बाई आर आर but this is incorrect because there you are considering the negative charge also in the energy for force you can just see force on this right because they are equal and opposite but for energy both are involved in the interaction energy so you are actually in second case you are calculating the interaction energy between the two charges which is not in the guarantee of uniqueness theorem because you are crossing this and both are interacting so actually energy will be just half of it energy will be just half of that and you can calculate it by coming from infinity to a point d here and f dot the basic formula if you calculate it by this you will get this so ye baat bahut zyada dhyan rakhna ye question pucha ja sakta hai yahan 2d likha hua hai ye direct dikhai deta hai but it it will be actually just half of it because There is no guarantee of energy that दोनों तरफ चार्ज लो और इंट्रैक्शन एनर्जी की गारंटी एनर्जी से नहीं आती ओके 
so please write because only upper region has to contribute to the correct answer of energy only upper region has to contribute for the upper for the correct answer of energy the answer is this much half of above half of below okay so iska half kar diya only that much will be the interaction energy so this much is enough for today and uh, please keep revising we will do more problems on the image problem the use of image problem we will do more questions uh, and uh, many times we have got questions on this in the exam and uh, after this we will discuss multipole expansion okay so these three will certainly have two questions in your exam or minimum one question but i would say that two questions aayenge ha batao bhai sir hmm sir mujhe ek uh, matlab clear karna hai ki hmm. ye jo force mein force of attraction 1 by 4 pi ye 2d matlab distance between plus q and minus q charge tha hmm okay Kya clear sir. karna ki 2 ka square 4 hota hai नो no, सर ये 2d मतलब कैसा इन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन मतलब यू आर आस्किंग हाउ टू अप्लाई कूलम्स लॉ बिटवीन टू चार्जेस नो 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 इट इज इट इज बिटवीन टू चार्जेस प्लस q एंड माइनस q ओके ओके सर चलो थैंक यू सो मच Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you sir.